marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The memorial. Be a kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Party punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now. And the Orchard Core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Pith stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Piff makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Piff lights up like a rodeo. Punching through his hide. Kid breaks into bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off?
forgive. You don't need favors from the likes of him. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Windbags is hard enough. No need to get the gods involved. don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Kid ain't found the core, but least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Turn them round and round all you like. Pith's still gonna be ugly. The Gravers, they arm a justice. They seemed unstoppable. <laughs> 